You know what I'm saying? We hey Pacers, it's Monday. Hi, my name is Juliana, a junior, go class of 2018. And my name is Anthony, also a junior, go class of 2018. Today is October 3rd. And you're watching Pacers on Demand. Bust it, lottie dotty. Who likes to party like slick Rick the ruler? I'm cooler than the ice brick. Got so like those Afro picks with the black fist and leave a crowd dripping like John. As you guys all know, Spirit Week is coming up from October 5th through October 7th. You will have a great opportunity to show your school spirit. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday is Sports Day. Wednesday is Class Day. 9th, Walt Disney theme. 10th, Floral. 11th, Tie-Dye. And 12th is Blackout. Thursday is Throwback Thursday. And Friday is Pink Day. Attention Pacers, come out and audition for our fall play. Auditions will be held in room A1 in the Drama Studio, Tuesday, October 4th, 3 to 5 p.m. Students will have callbacks Wednesday, October 5th, and the first rehearsal will be Thursday, October 6th. Pacer students and staff, on Monday, October 3rd, Life Touch will be on campus for makeup pictures. If you haven't, your, if you haven't taken your picture yet, expect to receive a pass on the 3rd, inviting you to the Little Theater for your photograph. Students, please wait for a pass. Staff, you may report to the Little Theater at any point in the day for your makeup. We will continue to keep you in touch. Seniors, December 9th is a serious deadline for you. The 9th is the last day for senior pitchers. Please contact Prestige Portraits to schedule your appointment. Two, baby pitchers and senior quotes are also due December 9th. You may submit baby pitchers and quotes to paceryearbook at gmail.com. Please be sure to take care of this sooner late than later. The first students to submit their quotes and baby pictures will have their name entered into a drawing for a free yearbook. Interested in buying a poster for your friends for holidays or special occasions? You must want to purchase a special occasion poster. The posters range from birthdays to holidays to secret admirers. Our club starts selling special occasion posters this week for $6. You can pick up the applications for your poster on West Campus in W. 44. See Ms. Robinson. Please turn in your applications a week in advance of the special occasion or holiday. Posters come with awesome poster drawings, balloons, and other cool items. It will be delivered to the recipient in their first or sixth period classroom. Attention seniors, pre-order your senior crowns. They are now available for $4. You can have an opportunity to Come into Mrs. Acosta's classroom to decorate your own crown and seek dollars if you want a member of the committee to decorate your crown. You can bring your money to Ms. Siobhan's office in room C7 by the end of the Attention seniors, your senior trip deposit deadline is approaching. You may put down your non-refundable $100 deposit in Ms. Siobhan's office in room C7 for your seat on the bus. Note that we must have at least 40 seniors to go to the senior trip in order for this trip to happen. Attention seniors, October 5th is your senior sunrise at 6.15 a.m. It is also blackout day in which students will wear all black in their senior crowns. We were also taking our class of 17 picture that day. Make sure you come dressed in all black. Homecoming week is soon approaching. The homecoming dance, A Night in Paris, will be Saturday, October 8th from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. A strict dress code will be enforced. It is a formal event. Boys must wear a button-up collar shirt, formal pants, and formal shoes. Girls must also be dressed formally. Purchase your homecoming tickets for $5 until today. Then $8 from September 26th to Friday, October 7th, and $10 at the door. Attention Pacers, FIDM is visiting Thursday, October 13th in second period. Hey Pacers, I'm Alex and I'm here to interview the mayor, the secretary of state, and the student. Let's go. Can you please introduce yourself today? Sure, my name is uh, Alex Padilla and I'm a California secretary of state. Um, can you tell us why you came here today, please? So, happy to be here at Grant High School to talk to the senior class about the importance of registering and voting. You know, I remember when I was a senior in high school, there was a lot of things on my mind. 
but doing my civic duty was uh, not one of them. But knowing that when you're a senior, you either just turned 18, maybe you're about to turn 18, with all the things going on in your life, I want to bring the message that when we register and we vote, we can politically empower our community. You want your point of view to count? You have to vote. If you don't vote, you're leaving it to somebody else who may disagree with you or have a totally different point of view. Their point of view will count. Feel your power. I said, feel your power. You guys are powerful. You can change most anything you want in your community if you do it with, uh, with intelligence, if you respect other people, and if you fight in the right way for what you believe in, and it starts with voting. Hi Pacers, I'm here with... Vanita. Um, Vanita, can you give us your opinion on the mayor? Um, I think the mayor is a really cool guy. Uh, it was really nice meeting him today. So. Um, how do you feel about um, voting? Like, What's your opinion on that? I believe everybody should stand up for what they believe in, what they're passionate for, and you should definitely vote. It's, um, don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't vote and that your vote doesn't count. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, nothing. Go seniors! It's the cornerstone of how we impact change in our communities, especially by encouraging young people to become a part of the process because the older people get, the more seasoned they get at what the issues are that affect them. Mm -hmm. But young people, it takes a while for them to catch on to the political process. And so if we can get young people out to vote, we can change those things in our community that affect the largest part of our community and the part of our community that has a bright future. So, definitely. That's one of the things that's great about this country, whether we realize it or not, we all have an equal voice when we register and when we vote. Uh, it doesn't matter where you live, how many generations your family has been here, if you're rich or poor, we all have one vote, but only when we register and only when we show up. Hey Pacers, if you turn 18 before November, remember, get loud and vote. Well, this includes your morning announcements. Pacers on Demand was brought to you by the Grant Student Programming Network and... On behalf of the Arts Academy. My name is Juliana. And I'm Anthony. Have a wonderful day, Pacers.